DaVinci Resolve for noobs. A lot of people know that DaVinci Resolve has a feature called Smooth Cut that you can drop in between your cuts in your timeline. And it's designed to smooth out those transitions by blending the frames together. But let me give you a couple of tips to get good results. First of all, it works really well when you've got two clips where the person's in a very similar position, but that often doesn't happen. I'm in a pretty close position, and if I play through, it actually kind of blends that together. But do you notice all the artifacts in my hair? Do you see how my hair is doing weird things? So don't be afraid to pull that smooth cut way down so it's only blending a couple of frames. And that was pretty smooth. You could barely even tell that that was a cut. But what happens when you get to places where those cuts aren't as smooth? You can see I'm in a very different position from this clip to the next one that I've cut into. But I like the way the audio works. If I were to bring that smooth cut down and even shrink it down a bit, it's not gonna work really well. Watch my hair over on the right. You can see how it ripples through. But if you lock your audio track and then put your cursor so it's in the middle of that cut, so it's grabbing both clips, watch what happens up in the preview window. Left click and hold, and as you drag left and right, you'll start seeing the end frame from the clip on the left and the beginning frame from the clip on the right. Now you can slowly pull frame by frame and try to find a spot where maybe you're in the same or similar position. This one's pretty close and my hand is just starting to come into frame. And if I bring the smooth cut down onto there, shrink it down quite a bit, you've created a J cut here, but watch how it plays through. That's much smoother, much more natural than if I had left that cut right in place as a normal standard cut.